What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about Call of Duty not being an annual release anymore. Now this has not been confirmed by Activision or Blizzard, but there is a Bloomberg article that is talking about several Activision and Blizzard executives considering ending the Call of Duty franchise's annual release schedule. They say that the discussions are still ongoing. So apparently Activision and Blizzard is in talking with, you know, all their executives talking about not having the game you know, put out every single year. I'm not sure if this has to do something with the new Microsoft, uh, you know, kind of acquisition as well. They have not really talked about that, but I will put this article down in the description if you guys would like to read over it for yourself. Now, several of us in the community, I know there's a lot of people out there that have talked about this, including myself, have thought over the years, Call of Duty should have, should really be on a, you know, two to three year schedule instead of an every year release. Now, one thing that I think it will help with is development. We thought that having three different development teams would, you know, kind of make the game a little bit better. And we have seen better games over the years. But of course, having three development teams has not been a thing that has happened every single time. We know all the issues that happened with Sledgehammer. But some years it seemed like it did help because it gave the teams around three or four years to make the game before their next game was going to have to be released. But overall, I think a lot of people are really just big fans now, it seems, of Treyarch games. Some people really liked Modern Warfare 2019. It was kind of a split thing within the community. People either really liked it or they really did not. A lot of people feel like Vanguard is kind of just a copy and paste of Modern Warfare 2019, but just, you know, kind of in a World War II setting. I think personally it would be great if they would combine some of these studios and just come out with a game every two years instead of having, you know, each studio come out with their own game you know, in, in a longer time frame, Because in my opinion, if you decide to go with that kind of way, if they decide to, all right, we're going to keep all three studios, but we're going to go to a two or three year kind of release, it would be a long time before you got to see, you know, maybe your favorite development team. If you're a fan of Treyarch or a fan of uh, Sledgehammer or a fan of Infinity Ward, it would be a really long time now before you got to see the next game. So I think combining some of the studios and going with a, you know, every two to three year release would be great. I think it would be better for the game in general. Maybe if they just kept two studios and combined maybe, you know, one of the other studios with the two and just kind of continue going that way. I think they have finally realized that the multiplayer in Call of Duty, which was its bread and butter for a really long time, has not done as well as they would hoped. But that is kind of their doings as well because they push so much for Warzone. It is the free-to-play uh, version, of course, of Call of Duty. A lot of people play it. They make a ton of money off of it. So I understand from a money, you know, kind of uh, aspect of why they, you know, work so hard on Warzone and do so much for Warzone. But at the same time, the multiplayer side of Call of Duty has kind of suffered over the last several years and the competitive side as well. I mean, the competitive side of Call of Duty is not doing as well as it has in the past. And I think for the Pro League, it would be very good as well. Very good, too, because there's a lot of games out there. Of course, you look at Counter-Strike, Rainbow Six, Overwatch. Those games never change. Call of Duty changes year in and year out. I think it would be better for the league to have a game, you know, if they played the same game for two years. And then, of course, they go on to the next title, which would make it a little bit easier for the players to get into playing the game, learning the game, that kind of thing. And also, I think it would be better for support for competitive and support for ranked play in the Call of Duty multiplayer itself. So leave me a comment, guys. Would you like to see this? Do you think Activision and Blizzard will go through with this? I find it very interesting that they are discussing something that the community has talked about for a really long time. So leave me, your comment, uh, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.